Hello and welcome back. So today is day one of our daily drawing challenge. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, we're going to be drawing every day here except the weekends with Adobe Fresco. And we have a prompt list. You can find it in the communities tab. And this is our first drawing. And today's prompt is flowers. So let's go ahead and start this super simple flowers with Adobe Fresco. I'm going to go into your files and click on that daily drawing challenge folder that you just created and click on create new go to digital and current screen size i'm going to be using a brush that is in dry media and hard pastel and you can see it's this big that's 62 the flow is at 40 to change the brush size you can just go up and down like this or you can click and hold and then you can type whatever you want and then smoothing is at one and I haven't changed any other settings. Let's go ahead and choose a color. So for this one, I want a light blue color. You can also go and pick your own colors from your color palette that you have, but I'm just gonna use the wheel here to choose. So this color, I'm going to bring it all the way up, the square here, and then I'm going to choose a color here. I think I want a darker color. So let's go ahead and draw our flower. I'm going to go ahead and something like this maybe like that it's like a tulip a shape I'm going to come back behind that layer and plus to create a new layer and we're going to go ahead and pull this down a bit so that it's a little darker color it in here perfect and then we're going to go ahead and click plus above both of these layers. Let's go ahead and choose a green now. And I'll make it a little darker like that. Now we can go ahead and reduce this to about 30s, I guess. We're going to make something like this. It's good, and I'm going to make a leaf. Color it in. And we're gonna make one here as well. That's good. Now plus, and we're gonna click on this thing called the clipping mask. Go ahead to my levels here, and then change this blend more to screen. Click outside, we'll reduce the opacity to about 70s. You can also click and hold here and change it if you want. Let's do that. Now since this is a clipping mask, whatever I draw is going to show up only on the leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of lines like this. You know what, let's change the brush. You can use your two finger to undo. Go back here. Let's go into charcoal, charcoal pencil. It's at 25, 76, and this at one. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this. I'll do the same on the other side. That's good. Let's draw the next flower. Plus, I'm going to choose a yellow. So if you want the exact color, I have this here. This is 51, 100, and 100. So if you click and hold, you can change the color. And let's go back into our hot pastel. If you want to find the brushes, you can go into recent, and it'll show you the hot pastel brush. It's at 30. Make sure you go back up to around 60s. And let's draw our next flower. I want it to have five petals. Now plus. I'm going to choose a lighter yellow. So I'm going to move this outer ring a bit like this so it's all lemony yellow. If you want the exact color, it's 5700 and 100. And we're going to draw on this one now. Make it a bit round. Now plus, and I'm going to go this and pull this all the way so it's more reddish. And this is on a new layer, by the way. And then if you want, you can add more stuff here, plus, and put a clipping mask. And we're going to change this to multiply. You can reduce this if you want. Then we'll go back into that yellow. So you can go into recents. I like this. Then you see that yellow there. Choose the same yellow as the flower. Go into charcoal pencil. I know you can't see it. There's definitely something happening. If you want, you can go ahead and increase this completely. 
and then here if you want you can add the same thing clipping mask multiply and we are in the charcoal pencil so we're going to go into our heart pastel again and make sure this is a little bigger maybe around hundreds or 120 and we're going to add a little bit here slightly see i'm not using a lot of pressure so this difference between using pressure if i use a lot of pressure it's going to make it like this i don't want that so when i use light pressure you can see this light texture happening so when you zoom out you can see that they look you know on top of each other kind of, okay we could do the same thing for the blue one as well but i feel like i need to add something else to that so i'm going to go into the level where i have this dark blue click on plus and we have yellow that's good i'm going to go into charcoal pencil and i'm going to draw some polen over here you can reduce the size a little bit and you can choose black and increase the size a bit and we're going to just draw some like this you can draw this on a different layer by the way so that you won't mess up the yellows there you go let's get back to the yellow flower now i want you to go behind everything that you have created for this yellow flower so plus we are in the back you can choose the same green that we chose earlier or maybe push it up a little bit so that it's a nice color I want to go into hot paste and reduce this size to 30s an extra stroke so i'm going to go ahead and put this like this and we're going to make a different kind of leaf for this and i feel like i need to move this yellow thing a little closer but this yellow flower is in multiple layers right so it'll be hard to move them like that so we're going to group them together so click on these three dots select multiple and select everything that makes up the yellow flower everything even the green part and click on this folder icon now it's a folder now you click on your transform tool or moving tool you're going to place it right next to the flower you can put it on top of each other if you want but yeah let's just keep it like this next i'm going to make it a little smaller you always use your corner anchor points to make it smaller and bigger that's really important and once you're done click on done that's good now let's go in and add some background so go all the way down here click plus and let's choose a blue here should we choose a blue yep maybe like that you can use your fill tool and fill with vector pixel doesn't matter i'm going to click on plus i want to add a circle which is lighter so i'm going to push this all the way here push this up a little maybe it's lighter so it's this color okay and then we'll go back into hot paste that's good increase the size to about 200 let's see perfect and we're going to draw a slide round like this and make sure you have a bit of texture in there that means don't put too much pressure everywhere let there be some texture that comes through and plus i'm going to add some white bits because i feel like it i really like that so you can add circles i think the circles will look good behind this you can make smaller and bigger circle or you can also add elongated you know, like clouds up to you and some smaller circles and there you go your first illustration is ready and now it's time to export it I forgot a really important step so i'm going to click on plus here and then go to my hot pastel brush click on black i'm going to mark this thing here oops that's too big like that and click on charcoal pencil click on white you can also do dark blue and blue if you want to match things and then i'm going to say flowers You can also do come back here hot paste and white and black in charcoal and we're going to mark it as one this is completely optional you don't really have to do it so once you're done with this click on share you can view the time lapse by clicking on preview time lapse 
or if you want to just export it click on publish and export export as and you can give whatever name you want over here and then png or jpeg or whatever and click on export and that's it click on done so that was our first prompt and i hope you like the super simple illustration if you create something don't forget to tag me on print me some color and think beyond color because i will be posting my artwork on think beyond color whenever i publish a video so i hope you guys join in in this challenge and uh, yeah let's draw together see you in the next one then bye